morning. Um, I'm uh, doing a Scottish ale, a 60 shilling in a brew in a bag method, and I'm going to show you today how to sparge. Um, a lot of people that do brew in a bag don't actually rinse their grains, or otherwise known as sparging. Um, by the way, this is baby Peter. He's my assistant. And um, today I'm going to show you how you could do a sparge by having a second pot um, with uh, three gallons or two and a half gallons or so of water heated to about 170 degrees. Um, so you just want to get your water, your sparge water to 10 degrees over your mash water or your strike water. And um, I'm going to use a little rack to support my bag because it is quite heavy. And um, <clears throat> this will help me when I, when I rinse my grains. And of course I'm spilling everywhere. So um, first I let my bag drain. I've got a lot of uh, good sugars are coming out of this um, from my mash. And uh, then I want to close up my bag a little bit, kind of squeeze it, but not too tight. You don't want the harsh tannins coming out. Make sure my bag is actually in my pot so it will drain. I mashed uh, in it uh, at uh, 160 and um, kept it there and then I heated it up to 170 for the last 10 minutes uh, to get uh, a little bit better efficiency. Also this sparge is going to help you get better efficiency. So all you want to do is take a ladle from your, strike, uh, your sparge water and rinse the grains just like this and just let it drain. Um, I'm going to do this for about two gallons. That's going to fill up my pot, my kettle, I'm doing a five gallon batch. I started with five gallons um, of uh, strike water. About a gallon got soaked up in the grains, so that's four. So I'm going to, uh, for my boil, I need six gallons. 